When the construction boom started in 2001 in Dubai, we decided that this place had great fundamentals. The government very proactive towards development. Uh, they were putting in the right uh, amount of infrastructure in place. Also in terms of what they wanted to create, um, the ruling family here had a brilliant dream and we thought that being a very large developer in India with the kind of Indian population that you have here, it was worthwhile to make a step in a foray into Dubai. We were India's foremost developer of townships. The company was founded by my father about 25 years ago. Uh, we're now rated as uh, India's largest home builders, we're India's largest residential developer. We consequently came to Dubai, I moved here myself, uh, and we set up a little office where we decided to look at what projects were going on in and around Dubai. We then found consequently that there were a lot of developers from all over the world and we had to create something that would add to what's coming up in Dubai. Dubai Marina is a fantastic location just by the beach, got the ocean in front of the palm. And since our expertise is much more in creating towers, we felt that this is something great for us to do. District 10 in Dubai Marina was meant to have unlimited GFA or unlimited FSI and unlimited height. But for developers to actually say we're gonna build 90, 100, 110 stories in that area is something uh, that nobody expected. When they found this out, they decided to revamp the infrastructure there, they put in new bridges there, they widened the roads there, and I think that was very proactive, though it did put our project a little behind schedule because construction was stalled while they did it. With a lot of towers coming up, you have to create something unique. You have to also think about the experience of the person, not just a marketing brochure of how they will experience and live their everyday lives. What is it that you can create that will surprise them, but surprise them happily and really make a difference to the way they currently live. Consequently, 23 Marina started off as a 50-story project, moved to 75, and then in its final version, by the time all the mechanical flaws and everything went in, the design, we then found it most efficient to build a 90-story building. The road here has been very challenging. Um, not being Imar or Nakheel and building a very tall tower puts you under a spotlight and a lot of lot more stringent regulation than I think any other developer has gone through. We went through several structural review checks and uh, as much as I curse them when they happen, I think we are very fortunate that they did. And it's only to, the, only to my benefit as well as that of the end user, since I'm going to myself live on the top of this building, hopefully, very soon, uh, that these things did take place. When we completed the middle mechanical floor, uh, which is what you see in the middle band, where a lot of the services come in, uh, they had to cast 22 beams. It's, uh, it's, it's basically a three-story deep out-trigger beam which anchors the whole structure. It's at two levels, 31 to 34 and uh, 58 to 62. And the first one we did was very challenging uh, because it's a first in, in Dubai and to pour it, to get the permission, to do it in that manner was a unique design. It's like putting an outer tube and an inner tube and two levels anchoring them with bands that hold them together. So those are the bands that really hold the outer core and the inner core to each other and really make the structure strong. We created some other sort of unique experiences. We believe in apartment living or a high-rise living. It's also when, you, when you're selling people an address when people come there on an ongoing basis, they should be able to enamor their, their guests and they should have pride value. So we created a very powerful entrance lobby, which is as good as any five-star hotel anywhere in the world. It's about 10,000 square feet times four stories high. So it's something really nice. We focused a lot on vertical transportation as well. We hope that nobody has to wait at any time when they push a button for more than 45, 50 seconds. The duplays are another little interesting part in the project. They're just like having a, a two-story villa, but with the charm of having 
being in a condo building which provides you with security which provides you with that comfort that there are other people living there is a kind of community living which people would like if they were living out of town or or something that they would be quite excited to have so the two plays have a private swimming pool they have an internal elevator they have a bunch of little special features that they can be excited and proud of and show off to their guests we created this building to really cater to somebody who's willing to come across the table and say yes or be very excited and say yes this is a place i'd be happy to live in not just by the aesthetics of the building that you can see but also by virtue of the fact that the interior and everything thought through is really nice we completed the 23 marina project so it's a very exciting time for us